Hello and welcome to TFL Cars new weekly roundup review of the internet's very best car videos, reviews and car shows. I'm Dave Erickson here in Spokane, Washington just in front of a green screen that you can't see. Okay Roman stop it. In case you're wondering Roman is doing the editing today. You know at TFL Car we are never content to take it to just 10. Nope, just like our mashup car reviews, we like to dial it up a notch to 11. So without any further delays, here are the top 11 car videos of the week. At number 10 is this fun off-road Range Rover Evoke review by our friends over at Roadfly. By the way, Emmy, she's the one with the pink hair doing the review of the Evoke. She also races off-road buggies around the world when she's not doing car reviews for Charlie and the gang over at Roadfly. However, getting in and out is a whole other story. I'll wait. It's okay. <clears throat> I got time. There we go. Ironically, this week's number one car video in our countdown is also the review of the Evoke. Why? You'll have to wait and see, but I promise you, it's worth the wait. You just gotta keep those squirrels puffing hard to get any power out of this thing. When you're headed uphill or you're really trying hard to pass, you can tell that you're using every ounce of what is there. And you'd like a little bit more. It's kind of like taking an incredibly hot girl home only to discover she stuffed her bra. She's still incredibly hot, she's just not everything that was advertised. Todd and Paul don't produce a ton of reviews, but when they do, you can bet they're worth watching. The boys work out of Utah, and the reviews not only feature cool cars, but incredible mountain roads and vistas. We built it only because, damn it, it looked like a lot of fun, you know? And speaking of Utah, as you can tell, our very own Nathan Adlin had a chance to play in the red sand in Moab, Utah at the annual Easter Jeep Safari. Each year, Jeep brings out about a half a dozen of those concept cars to Moab and gives keys to crazy guys like Nathan to test drive them. That's why our number eight video of the week is Nathan test driving the mighty FC concept. <laughs> this thing is outrageous. And I think it'll terrify school children. And, uh... I gotta tell you, it's something that it, you have to experience to understand because you're hanging over the front wheels. It's really cool. That's a real town in Belgium with real people doing what real people do in Belgium towns. This video was produced to promote the launch of a new Belgium TV channel. So watch what happens when the cyclist pushes the red button. Want to see the entire video? Roman's been busy adding direct links to all of these top 10 videos, so if you're watching from your computer right now, just click on the annotation below to go right to the video. Okay, the new Chevy Camaro ZL1 has to be one of the hottest cars of the year. So what happens when you stuff the supercharged engine from the Corvette ZR1 into the Camaro? Excuse me, I'm going to go to Palm Beach this weekend. Take the private jet. What happens is you get the number six video of the week. In his review, Moto Man gets to test out the ZL1 with the chief engineer, which is a good thing because another car reporting friend of ours, who shall remain nameless, put the ZL1 into the wall on the track during the same press event. That's about all we can tell you. I can now understand why we launched this car in a beaver because it's gonna hoover up car sales or scooter sales in the Mediterranean holiday destination. In the meantime, over at the new Drive YouTube channel, Chris Harris tries his best to get the brand new and electric Renault sideways. In our number five video clip of the week, Chris finds out how long it takes to get the new Renault Twizy to reach 28 miles per hour. Wait for it, capable of 0 to 28 miles an hour in 6.1 seconds. 
And speaking of French cars, in our number four video, Roman got a chance to drive what some consider to be the most iconic French car of all time, the Citroën DS. Basically, when I got my first Citroën, I drove it around, and after a few years of ownership, I drank the Kool-Aid because it was like, oh, it's the best car ever. It could climb a wall of ice, start in 40 below, never overheat, you know, totally armchair, comfortable cruising. Ryan over at Driving Sports TV recently drove the new Fiat Abarth at a racetrack in Las Vegas. We chose this as our number three video clip of the week because Ryan not only does a great job reviewing it, but gets about as close to the stunning camera work that's featured on Top Gear UK as anyone we know working in the U.S. today. So we've looked at the car, what should we do next? Fiat has graciously provided us with a car and a track to drive it on, Spring Mountain Raceway. They've introduced me to their spokes model. And they've given me many notes. But we don't care about notes. Angus McKenzie is the former editor of Motor Trend magazine, and Justin Bell is a British race car driver. Together, they probably know more about cars than Wikipedia. So when they teamed up to drive the Monster ZR1 Corvette from Munich, Germany to Italy, we knew it was going to be an epic video and our number two video of the week. Well, we certainly got some attention as we've been uh, driving yeah. it. Well, I mean, we're, we're in Porsche country here, and we're the, we're the intruder. Back in the States, you know, Corvettes are everywhere. But over here, you know, spotting a Corvette on the road, spotting a ZR1 on the road, it's like uh, seeing a Lamborghini in Albuquerque. Okay, we promised you something very special for our number one video clip of the week. Now, we love Roadfly, and we certainly love Emmy, but do me a favor, close your eyes, and listen to this next video clip of Emmy's review of the Range Rover Evoque. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on. You got it. 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 Whew, that was fun. <laughs> oh, my, Emmy. I hope that was as good for you as it was for all of us. Of course, we here at TFL Car love cars and all things automotive. With that said, let's dial it up a notch with this bonus video clip, number 11. Turbo! There is something magical about the sound of an Audi R8 V10 that even this little girl can't resist. <laughs> yeah! That's all for this week at the Fast Lane Cars Top 10. If you'd like us to feature your car video on the program, send us an email and a link to the video to info at tflcar.com. As always, join Roman, Nathan, and myself on tflcar.com for new car videos every day by subscribing or visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Roman, if you don't mind, just font all that. That'd be great. This is Dave Erickson for tflcar.com. Stay tuned for more car news, views, and reviews. I'm out. Gee, that looks familiar. That looks like the 2012 Dodge Durango all-wheel drive crew. Oh yeah, I just reviewed that vehicle. You can see it right now on tflcar.com. And what's that? The 2012 Buick Verano? I think I'll do that car next. Hey everyone, this is Dave Erickson in Spokane, Washington. Here's what's next on my list of car reviews in the coming weeks. I've got the BMW 650i, the Jaguar XJL, and the Volvo XC60 R design. Should be a lot of fun. Stay tuned.